Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. It's the last week of 222 and throughout the past few months we've been giving us everybody updates on our current status of our farms and what are the current new expansion that we're going through. So in this video I'll just recap some of the important things that we have done in our farms for 2022 and what are the exciting new projects that we have upcoming for 2023. So stay tuned. So we'll start off first with our mud crab facility. So this facility has been running for six years straight, you know, for those who have been following our channel for some time. And we have been running this for 365 days without any breaks. And we've been supplying to more than 50 restaurants. So one of the first modifications that we have done this year is to include a protein skimmer in the back end of the process uh, because we get a lot of fine solids that were trapped just before going to the system. So what we have done is to use some of our old skimmers that we've been using in our bioflock system and we have actually used it for our mud crab recirculating systems. So what's good about a skimmer, you know, it uses really fine bubbles to filter out the solids. So it's not like your conventional sand filter or drum filter. And you can see the sludge that's collected over here, which is actually very, very thick and, you know, shows the effectiveness of this skimmer equipment. So in the past, we have actually dosed chemicals in these barrels and allow it to slow drip into the system. But we actually remove it to accommodate the skimmer. So another interesting update we had uh, this year is to replace some of the overflow tubes in the boxes with these 3D printed parts that were sent to us from one of our suppliers. So these overflow tubes are slightly a bit different and they sort of facilitate the solid removal process uh, inside the boxes which enable us to reduce the amount of labor requirement, especially in the cleaning process. So what you see over here is actually the biofiltration in our holding tank system, which is actually used for quarantine and sales. And what we've incorporated inside this system is actually a oxygen delivery system, which enables oxygen to be pumped at regular intervals so that we do not consume overly too much oxygen while retaining its high efficiency. So you can see it's a timer in which allows the delivery of oxygen into the system. And also to facilitate more oxygen in 2023, uh, we have actually added more blowers to allow for higher intensity. We have been using a lot of blowers not just in our crab farm but also in a lot of our biofilm facilities and we find them to be actually interesting and efficient equipments. Alright, so going into our indoor bioflock setup. So this year we had an interesting year. We have actually moved to three times, right? So from our original facility, which you see over here, that was the last update in 2021. And you know, after the pandemic ended, we decided we needed a more bigger space to expand our production. Um, we were actually using these 20 ton tanks of fully house indoor in a shop lot. So what we first did, you know, is to demobilize from this location uh, because we were moving into a new facility. But because the new facility was not uh, fully done up yet, so we had to move back to our crab farm. And we actually did one batch of shrimps over here uh, at very high intensity with nanobubble systems. Uh, we were getting relatively good use despite the low survival rate because of the very, very high stocking density. Um, and we, in this case, we actually stock them with PLs up to 10,000 per 4 tons of water. So uh, on the nursery part, it's actually quite good. But, you know, we were having a bit of uh, issues at high intensity growth stage. So actually, last few months, we have been busy moving into our new shrimp farming setup. So this is actually a 5,000 square feet facility. Uh, as you can see over here, it has its own blower and root blower aeration system that are used both in the nursery and even the growth stage. And you can see that, you know, right now we have actually the nursery running for two weeks already and we will transfer them out probably mid-January into the grow tanks. So what's going to be different for this facility and our previous facility apart from scale is moving forward, we will not be using any more PVC tanks because we, you know, would like them to be last a bit longer. So the next scale we are looking at for our newer tanks, we are all using HDP liner, which is what you see over here. So apart from indoor systems, we have actually leased over earthen ponds as well earlier this year. So this pond actually was abandoned for about one year because the previous operators had issues with diseases and production. So the plan here was to, to see what we can do with this abandoned pond 
And actually, we are at our second cycle at the moment. Uh, we completed the first cycle in July after four months of production. And the production was actually quite good uh, with mortality and yield and even FCR. Right, despite having uh, issues in the past. And these were some of the harvest uh, shrimps that were gathered after a four months period. We harvested around 30 counts. Uh, so these are large shrimps and we did not do any partial harvest because uh, these are mainly catering for large shrimps, which is actually preferred by a lot of consumers. So the next batch will be actually done uh, in January. So we will complete our next cycle and we will share most of that uh, in the upcoming videos. So if you like our content and like to see us grow as a company, we hope you like and subscribe and we hope to see you back again at RX Culture. <laughs>